chosen ones, I just wanted to reach out to let you know this simple thing that I got on the way, drop it after I dropped my main squeeze off today. And God says, you must have faith. You must have faith. You must have faith. You must believe. You must have faith. You must have faith. You must believe hours and hours, hours and hours. Yeah. You must have faith. You must have your faith and you gotta believe. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Yeah. You must have faith. Hours and hours and hours. Yeah. I can do this for hours and hours, yeah. I can praise him for hours and hours, yeah. God has been so real for me for hours and hours, hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours. yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta have your faith. Hallelujah. God is so good. Let me tell y'all something. I didn't want to record Freestyle Friday today because I wanted it to be just like a freestyle. So it was something that wasn't planned, something that God kind of gave me on the whim. And when I woke up this morning, I just started thanking God for being just so faithful. Because it's easy to thank God when things are going great. But it's challenging to be faithful in your faith when things are falling apart. And when you're on the verge of a spiritual awakening, and as your mind begins to shift the whole paradigm shift, the energy shift. So because energy shifts, sometimes things around you change and you find yourself in unfamiliar territory. Sometimes you work so hard to gain things and you lose them. And you get discouraged and you, you give up on God. But it's some of you that have heard the word of God and you're like the good soul that Jesus talked about in that parable. That you hear the word of God, but because you did not allow the enemy through outside circumstances to choke the seed, which is the word, and now you're reaping a harvest. And I just wanted to reach out to let somebody know, keep having faith. Don't give up on God. You must believe in what he is doing for you. And I know how it is sometimes. It's, it's challenging when your outside circumstances oppose what God has promised you. But before God gives you the breakthrough, Sometimes he pulls things out of your environment that shouldn't be a part of you. He breaks habits that you had before that you need to let go of. He pushes you <clears throat> into areas that you have no choice but to walk on water and just keep your eyes on Jesus. He does all of this to let you know that it's time to have your faith. And God revealed to me that in this season, not only do you have access to locks and keys, baby, but you have the kingdom endorsing you. You are an ambassador. You have double portions. You have more power and you have the, the aids, the heavenly aids and angels and ancestors that have crossed over, that are praying for you, that are making provisions of you. Jesus is interceding for you. It is a war going on in the spiritual realm and it's manifesting out here in 3D because the devil knows that the gig is up. He knows that it's 100% over with. God has unleashed the chosen ones in this earth that you did not see coming. And it's more things that's going to pop off in the favor of chosen ones. God revealed to me that this is what we call a rebound season. See, you're rebounding on everything that the enemy thought he could keep. But God is saying, uh-uh, you have to go ahead and give them that because they have access to locks and keys. You have to go ahead on and give them better than what 
they had than what you stole from them because they have access to locks and keys. God has said that in this season, that if you keep your faith, you're going to get a double portion back of everything that the enemy took from you. So if he took your home, you're going to get a better home. If he took a husband that God didn't ordain for you, baby, you're going to get a better husband or you're going to get a better wife. If he took that job because you thought that was the one, God is saying, I'm going to trump that job. If he took your mind, God says, I'm going to regulate your mind. Everything that the enemy took, God shook it loose when he gave you the keys to take it back. So not only do you have to have faith in this season, and believe and be happy and joyous in this season. But you have the access to locks and keys to take back everything that the enemy thought he stole from you. God is saying, take it all back. And until the next video, guys, because you have the power. Mm -hmm. Peace, because I sure enough believe in you. Bye now.